I love a good dashboard design project. I find it one of the more challenging tasks that we get to work on as designers. Unlike kind of like a small app or a website, to design a dashboard you really need to understand how a business works and what they're trying to get from it because it might be very, very complicated. You have to visualize a lot of data and so that's a big challenge but I really enjoy those challenges. I've been fortunate to work on a couple of business dashboards. One of them is related to restaurants. The other one uh, was in cybersecurity. Both of them were really, really interesting and I enjoyed working on them, but I never actually learned to do this. And so I relied a lot on kind of like taking a look at what other people do, you know, taking a look at designs from Dribbble and reading articles, but never really uh, learned it kind of methodically. But today, luckily, I came to my uh, my client's office and it turns out that they actually bought this book about dashboard design. So I kind of stole like two hours to just sit in, read this book and take notes and actually learning a lot of stuff. Uh, and the good thing about taking time to learn actually a skill is that, you know, I had, I turned out that I had a gut feeling about getting things right uh, for a lot of things, but I'm understanding them kind of like in a structured way really help will help me probably for the next project that I get to communicate uh, why I make design decisions, which is something that is so, so important. For example, on one of the uh, latest dashboards that I um, that I designed actually for the Lucia project that I shared the, the web design project I did for them uh, here on this blog, but I also designed a dashboard for them. And one of the things that they told me uh, was that you made two graphs that looks the same. Uh, we think it's a bit boring and maybe you do something else. And I, I tried a different approach to them, but at the end I came to the conclusion that that's the best graph for the job. And reading here, there's a section here about, um, I don't know, I marked it but they explain the purpose of every graph type and it makes sense that you can, you know, different graph types, they're, they each have a trade-off, each has a different feature of what they're trying to show. Are you trying to show a trend? Are you trying to show a quantity? And you, you're not just choosing the, the right graph because it's pretty or you want something unique. You do that to kind of answer a business question. So there's probably one best ideal solution for you. Um, that's what I was trying to explain to them when I was working on it, but I didn't have kind of like the structured knowledge that I have right now after I read this book. Uh, so the way this book works is it, it has kind of like the first chapter in general about data visualization, which I found super useful, trying to uh, explain how to best use colors to show uh, difference and, and you know, whether it's divergence from, from an average or something's getting uh, hotter, for example. Um, so that was super useful. And then they have just a lot of business cases. Um, so I found it really interesting. I think it's always good to take some time and, and read books. You know, I think a lot of designers these days, they rather just read uh, a Medium article every once in a while and they feel like they're studying. And it is good, I do that as well. But kind of a, reading a book, like taking a few hours to read a book and have like a whole idea, comp, you know, encompassed in, in a structured way that you can read from start to finish, not just a short three minute idea. I feel like it brings a lot of value and I feel like, you know, I gained a skill today, which is super good. So obviously it's a huge book. Uh, I didn't read all of it in two hours, but I kind of just skimmed it and I t took a look and read the kind of the headlines and saw what could be useful for me, took notes, read a lot of notes for things that I want to come back to. And so I still feel that even though I didn't read every word, I still made a lot of learning today, which is super, super awesome. All right, that's what I did for today. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll catch you tomorrow.